And if anybody says anything, I can be like, oh, hey, what's up, man? But that's, yeah. Pretty much it. Sweet. <sighs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, good night. Yeah, we just have to set it to like hard. We're just going as is and on normal and just walk in like freaking. So that guns. little weasel picked a bunch of department stores to spread his little Black Friday like, surprise, and everyone. Okay, agent, you're looking for any bills our pal Amber. Not when they ran out, yeah. It's this one, the one where it's like I've done this for like a hundred times. So with any luck, there should be plenty of contaminated greenbacks lying around in there, as well as civilians. The is one of the thing about these guys is like they have this fucking tank. Not to make a whole thing out of it, but if you don't find some unmutated virus that can use as a comp, we may as well give up any hope of creating a vaccine. So you know, no pressure. Die Katana. John Romero's gonna make you his bitch. Like, I don't know. Dude, did you see that he's trying to fucking, like, make another game? Like, he's got it on Kickstarter. It's, like, it's supposed to be, like, him and another dude, I guess, that made Quake are trying to do that. And I'm just like. I mean, yeah, like, Die Katana, it sucks and stuff. I mean, he made Quake, so I guess. But it's kind of like. I almost wonder if, like, since Daikatana was so bad, it, like, ruined it for him for the rest of his life, or what? Because, like, people now are just like, like, really? Should I even... That and Kickstarter sometimes doesn't have, like, a great, you know, reputation. Um, I've supported Elevated stuff on there, and I haven't really had any problems. Like, I've maybe had, like, uh -oh. one like project out of the building. 20 or so that I backed that hasn't, like... That pretty much just gave up and was like, sorry, we're not doing our, the thing we said we were going to do. But like, a lot of them, I don't, I've only gotten a few on time. Most of them have been delayed. Like, I've got a, a 3D printer that's supposed to be coming to me. That they're like, you know, still getting made and tested and stuff. And at first they were going to be like, oh yeah, it's going to be rolling out in March. And then they were like, uh, yeah, they were like, well... I don't think that's going to be it, because they had some problems with manufacturing in China or something. So they have to go back to, like, they had to go back to, like, testing things. So they got that, like, forked out. They said they have to. There were other things like that. So, like, I'm fine with having updates and finding out, like, oh, if something's going to be delayed, that's fine. But it's, like, when, when a project goes just, like, silent, then you know you're, like, fucked. It's, like... Oh yeah, yeah, I did that same thing. Great. You keep That'll going. I'll keep digging that, uh, through these schematics until Isaac, where the yeah, overrides are. Yeah, it kind of sucks to Remember, play. Agent, you need to collect any like bills you can find with the original the virus strain. Mm -hmm. Check everything: <laughs> cash registers, charity donation like stations, gift yeah. jars in the cafe. Any place yeah. you can think of that might involve cash. I'm guessing they'll probably like give you an option to pick which one you want before they send it out, right? Or did you like lock it in on Wii U? I don't think it locked it in. I think if they just reached a certain amount of money. Oh yeah. Wii U version. Yeah, those stretch goals are kind of nice because like it makes it so like if they get to that certain point, they'll be making, they'll be putting money into making a version for it. So it's kind of like yeah, that's that's kind of crap, but it's like. I don't think at that point it's, it's really just porting it. It's not like they have to like they're making like new stuff or anything for it. Right. They're not wasting resources that they like could be using to make it better on PS4 or PC. Yeah. Yeah. But I figure they could probably use, use the resources. Active echo beacon detected. Yeah, hopefully. <clears throat> they're like the NX has been canceled. I'm <laughs> like, what? <laughs> And my wife yeah. said, Tanzanite. Is that something you carry? Uh, oh my god, tell me you don't love this watch. I dare that. you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. My credit card If they went into mobile gaming, I'd be pretty pissed. I'd be, I'd rather them do like, like become like someone like Sega where they make games for PS4. Because at least I know that their quality would be like, 
awesome. Yeah. But if they were just like, oh, sorry, we're going just to straight up start doing like Object mobile like, games, I'd be like, not that I don't like mobile games, but it would just be like a waste because I know they'd never be able to come out with like another Mario or like anything like that again. Like at least in the format of like a true like, you know, with a controller kind of thing. It'd be like playing on your phone and be like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, doing really good with their, like, new tone or shit. Oh, really? I think they just reached, like, 10 million. Do they have, like, viable stuff on there? What, on the camera? Yeah. I'm surprised that they don't, because it's, like... You would think that would be something that, like, a little, like, uh... Like, being able to buy, like, outfits and stuff with real money. Kind of seems like a no-brainer for that. I think Nintendo's always been a little bit behind on like downloadable DLC stuff because they're like, we want to give people the the money. I'm like, dude, that's like everybody else is putting ads on their stuff and you're not. Like, what are you thinking? If everybody else is doing it, like at this point, like it's not like anyone's praising you for not doing it. They're just shitting on me because you're so behind. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I, like, I'm happy when they're like, yeah, we want to ship Smash Brothers out with all the stuff that's supposed to be in it, you know, from the get-go. Then they end up doing deal, you know, they end up doing DLC as something that I wanted to do anyway, but then they, like, stop doing that. It's like, it's not like they were having declining sales, it's like all of those were selling, but instead they started just, like, be like, screw it, just gonna stop doing DLC, ban at a last one. I was just like, okay. Bayonetta and fucking like the final Emblem character or something. It's like, dude, the what the fuck? Why don't they like? They could have just kept going, for, like, they have ever, until, like, until, like, like, ever until like until the sales weren't like justifying the means for that. One more reason to keep them at bay, agents. Like I said, no pressure. Object test negative for viral contamination. People were like adding it up. I guess it's like at this point it was almost Object more expensive for viral contamination. Uh, to buy all the DLC than just the game by itself. So if you bought like the DLC and the Biohazard game, you spent detected. like more Part than what the game was worth. So like, you know, twice the amount of the game. Is, I guess what I'm trying. Or not twice the amount of the game. But yeah, pretty much like more than twice the amount of the game. That's how it gets most of the time, like, yeah. Especially, I think, like, um, especially with that Star Wars Battlefront, I would have been so pissed if I had uh, bought that season pass shit. Yeah, I would have been too, man. I, I like, was thinking about it for a while. But. Yeah, when we were playing that, like, really hardcore, I was thinking about it, but, like, as time went on, they just didn't come out with anything, and, like, I was pretty pissed because I was like, um... Okay, so this game is pretty fun, but like, there's no extra content coming out for right now. So I was just like, well, you know, and I had made a promise almost to myself that like, unless a game was one that I was like playing for a long time afterwards, like, I wasn't gonna just straight up like, buy season passes when the game first came out anymore. Because I wasn't sure, because they had a, a, a Dark Souls 3 season pass I didn't even know about, so I went into GameStop, and then like, I was like, what's in it? And then like, you know, the person I used to work with, like, they were like, oh, you know, they haven't told us yet. I'm like, yeah, I remember that bullshit. <laughs> where they would, it would just be a bland thing where they'd be like, with, you know, over, you know, they're guaranteeing, like, 80 hours of extra content. I'm like, cool, but what the fuck is it? Like, like what if it's something that's not actually something that you need or something that's, like, crucial to the game and it's just, like, you know, oh, an arena. It's like, fuck off with the arena shit, dude. Like, that's been in a couple games. They put that in Fallout, and they put that in the Bioshock Infinite game. It's like, I'd rather have story stuff than, like, you know. Yeah. 
like this kind of game, yeah, you could do arena and you could do other stuff like that, but like games that primarily really aren't multiplayer focused, unless you're adding in like a thing where like in, in like say uh, Bioshock Infinite, one person could play through the game with you as Elizabeth and use powers, or like in Fallout, someone could be your companion or you know something like that, then that that would be worth it. But you know, I could see them adding that as a I, I don't know. I guess Fallout's coming out with like that mod system. Did you hear about that? Like now yeah. you can do that on Steam, but like they're doing it so that like people can make their own mods and like, release them on PS4 and all this other stuff. And I'm kind of like, how's that gonna work with like the the game itself and like trophies? Because like if a trophy is like you know defeat all these enemies, it's like that's gonna like make it so somebody can just make a gun that's freaking awesome. And then, like, you won't... I don't know. Or how it's gonna Yeah, I am looking forward to at least like they said that like one of the things you're gonna be able to do is like do mods on clothing. So you're gonna be able to like people will be able to make different clothes. So you could I mean and eventually probably skin, so like it's like well, you could pretty much play as like any character, and I don't know if they'll like let you like add like you know move sets to things. That would be cool. You could like create like characters into the game that like aren't supposed to be in there, or like wear like an outfit from a different game of a character. Right. Be nice if more games had that kind of thing. I feel like every game should have that modding aspect, like at least like aesthetic. Like I could see them like cutting off like the like you mess with values for like guns so you're not like destroying the game but it's like I don't know I almost feel like there should be a server like if they make games like that like Dark Souls or this there should be servers for people that want to like just totally region, fuck the game over and intact. servers for people that want to just play no legit because people are going to do it regardless and like for I know in Dark Souls 3 I was hearing that like if you um, cause like on PC there's a real big problem with cheating and people duping items and like just hacking values and making it so you can like upgrade like a weapon past the amount that you're supposed to be able to and like I guess like from what I heard like, even if somebody invades you and they, they're a hacker like say you can't kill them because they like you know they had they're invincible then like you're pretty much like set on your own server with like cheaters and you can't ever connect to your friends unless your friends get sent there too and it's like what the fuck like they should punish the people if they're if they don't like it that like cheat not the people that like get fucked over from other people cheating so if somebody comes into your game and starts throwing down like duped weapons, you're fucked, like, and like, I guess like Dark Souls, the people that made the game were like, oh, just make sure you back up your shit on the cloud, you know, it doesn't do it automatically, so you have to do it all the time, and it's like, what? Like, fuck that. Uh, that yeah, kind of stuff. some sort of, like, vetting process, like, have, like, moderators or to Right. I feel like a lot of times, like, um, it's weird because they won't, a lot of times they won't think about this kind of stuff before the game comes out, and then when it does come out, and, like, they have to deal with, like, the consequences. They're, like, quick fixes to just screw everybody over instead of just, like, the people that actually cheat. So instead of like making it like, you know, they'll just make it harder on everybody, but it doesn't make it harder on the cheaters because the cheaters are already like, you know, like they'll make the prices higher in the game, but it's like, well, the cheaters are already like creating infinite money, so it doesn't really matter to them if you make the prices higher because they're gonna have infinite cash. Yeah. You're just like making it impossible for the people that actually play with shit to like do anything. This is 
Oh, 